Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. Happy Sunday. It's time for a speed duel double feature. Um, we're actually going to kick the spotlight this week as the decks, I think, should take center stage. And first deck up is actually going to be something for one of our favorite young duelists who's always got his dad doing liaison duty here in the comments section. That's uh, Mokuba. What's up, little buddy? Uh, Adam, I know we talked about this. We were going to uh, build him a Mariner deck. So I know Mariner's his favorite now, um, but I'm going to bring his other favorite into this as well. So this is going to be the best hero deck I could build for him for now. We are going to be using the Heroes Unite Fusion skill one more time. So just to refresh everybody, activate this skill during the main phase to discard one card, then fusion summon one elemental hero fusion monster card, from the extra deck using cards from the hand and field as material. We do not need the rest of the card. Okay, we're not playing anything that requires three. Just twosies today. So, um, that said, we will be playing the Elemental Hero Mariner. And we will be playing the Mariner to some great effect. Uh, to the point where we are going to beat some uh, beat some cards up, alright? So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to need to get some monsters on the board. First, we need to start with Elemental Hero Avion. So, we got to get our Flyboy at 3 to make sure that it is, of course, going to be as consistent as possible. And again, he has no effect. He's just normal, but he's one of the most used heroes when it comes to this type of fusion. Uh, next up will be the Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Now, with Bubble Man, if this is the only card in your hand, you can special summon it from the hand. And when this is summoned, you can drop the two cards. In order to resolve this effect, you must have no other cards and no other cards in your hand. So you have to be down to just top decking into Bubble Man. After that, we're going to need three copies, Goddess with the Third Eye. Now, Goddess with the Third Eye is going to help us escalate how, my, how much uh, fusion capability we're going to have by allowing it as a fusion substitution. When we do this, the other materials have to be correct. Uh, moving into the spells, we're going to be using three copies Book of Moon to defend ourselves. Again, Mariner is a little bit on the weaker side to start. Um, it's not going to stay there, but for the moment, let's make sure that we have the Book of Moon. Uh, next up, we're going to have a couple Cosmic Cyclones. Again, it's our way of dealing with the back row. And then, of course, how do we power up these guys? Well, we're going to need some fusion weapons, right? So again, we need a quick check on the Elemental Hero Mariner's stats. It is 5-star fusion, which means it is eligible to gain 1,500 to both the attack and defense. A single copy of this will bring him up to 2,900, and two of them puts him past 4,000. So do keep that in mind. Um... We are also going to run a single copy of Polymerization, should we want to fuse more than once, and two copies of Reinforcement of the Army, allowing us to add one of those level 4 or lower warriors from the deck to the hand. This just allows us, again, if we didn't get the Goddess with the third eye, um, we don't have to worry about whether or not we have the Polymerization because we're using the skill card as that, um, but we want to make sure that we can get the opposite character so that we can create our fusion. Now, if you give us half a second, uh, go ahead, pause the video, maybe take the notes, or take a screenshot. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to clean up the field real quick, so this way we can go over the extra deck and the side deck. So just one second. All right, now first to lead off in our extra deck is, of course, going to be Mariner. Now, we are going to be running two copies of this guy. Um, what this is, is this is Bubble Man plus Avion. Must be fusion summoned, like every other elemental hero before and after it. Uh, while you have any cards that are set in the spell trap zone, this card may attack the opponent directly. So, again, I want you guys to take a quick note back into our deck. Note that the Books of Moon were in there. We can activate these during the opponent's turn. This is perfect. It helps us play offense and our defense normally, but in this case, offense as well. As long as it's face down, the manner can attack directly. So again, with the Cosmic Cyclone, same deal. So these fusion weapons. Again, if we can activate two of these, we can go for game. 
as long as we have a card face down, regardless of what the opponent has monster-wise. Allowing Mariner to actually perform like a boss, uh, which is actually really cool. Again, Mokuba, I know that you love this guy. So you know we had to sneak Flame Wingman in here. Again, we're able to do this because the fusion substitution of the Goddess. The Goddess will take the place of Burstinatrix. So this way with Avion, we can make this happen. Uh, and again, everybody, you know, six stars, still able to equip with the fusion weapon. This one will get to 3,600 on a single. And then, of course, when this one destroys a monster and sends it to the graveyard by battle, we get to inflict damage to the opponent equal to the attack value that monster has in the graveyard. Up next, we're able to bring Steam Healer into this deck. Steam Healer, another five-star hero. Why are we doing this one? Because with Bubble Man, and again, we're having the Goddess stand in for the Burst Inner Tricks, we can create this card. Uh, this will go from 18 to 33 with a single fusion weapon. And if this card destroys the monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, we actually get to gain life points equal to the original attack that monster has while it's in the graveyard. So it's actually healing ourselves in the same way that Flame Wingman does his damage. And then, you know, I couldn't let this one go either. We got to put Elemental Hero Tempest in here because if we do read the rest of the Heroes Unite Fusion spell card, okay, if we do finish reading it, we do have the opportunity to play this one as well. Um, what it is, is we do need to have, and it should say right here, do, 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 if summoning an elemental hero fusion monster that requires three or more materials, and you control two of them that are mentioned, then you may also use cards in your deck as material. And again, still, the skill could be used once per duel. So again, if we had Burst Into Tricks, or sorry, Bur uh, Bubble Man and Avion on the field, then we could use the Goddess from the deck or any combination of cards that are still in the deck to generate our Tempest. Um, and if you're going to do this route, I would suggest if you really want to play the Tempest consistently, drop the reinforcements of the army for A Hero Lives. Uh, a Hero Lives does simply the following. Um, while you have no monsters on the field, you may activate the spell, you pay half your life points, and you special summon a level 4 lower elemental hero from the deck to the field. This will allow you to summon one, play one, and then activate your hero's Unite Fusion, which can allow you to play Tempest. Now, the only thing with the Tempest, and again, when we play Tempest, we are not going to be able to give him a fusion weapon. His, his star level is just too high. Um, but in, in on the bright side, you can send one of the cards that you control to the graveyard, to then target one monster that you control. While this card is face up on the field, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. So again, he has some perks, but I, I would have been remiss if I didn't at least throw him in here as an optional play. Uh, side deck is actually going to be pretty easy. Uh, we're going to use three Lost Winds today. We'll just keep it nice and simple. Special Summon Monster loses half of its attack value plus its effects. And then if they Special Summon one from their extra deck, um, while this is in the graveyard and it's not during the damage step, then we could set this from the discard pile back to the field. Uh, and three copies of the Spirit, because you never know. But uh, that's it. That is the Heroes Unite Fusion. That is Elemental Hero Mariner as the star of the deck. Guys, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this one today um, as much as I enjoyed building it, because this was fun. And uh, seriously, just enjoyed dueling. Um, go out there, try to have a great day, uh, do the things if you want to or don't. Uh, totally your call today. Um, but if you are interested in the Chum Lee deck, maybe stop by in about another hour or so, and we'll have another deck profile for you today. All right, my friends, see you later.